sleeping next to him every night. Yeah, again, because they know. That's why I love animals so much. I really, really do. Right, Monique, hang on. I'm going to touch the screen. Sorry, bear with me. Right, Monique, my cat went missing in November. Would you be able to tune into her? Why am I hearing ginger? Which is unusual because I don't, I don't think you can get female ginger cats, can you? I know you can tortoise shell because I've got one too, actually. Did she have stripes? Right, that's freaky. Sharon, right? Can you get anything from my dog Kane who's passed? I have a ginger cat and his name's Kane. I named him after the big red machine. Kane, my favorite wrestler, so there you go. So maybe Sharon. Okay, Monique says she was a tortoise shell. Right, so there we go. Okay, just bear with me. I'll get back to you, Sharon, because the ginger came in first. Um, but Monique, radio. I'm being honest, Monique. I, I'm being told very pretty, very pretty cat. I feel someone has her. Very tiny, little. Very mischievous, I'm being told. Um... I feel she's still here. I feel she's still alive. Had beautiful, she had green eyes, beautiful green eyes. Um, you hadn't just recently moved or anything, had you? Because I'm hearing a move, move around her. Something startled her. But I, f I feel she's okay. Yes, she was always small. Shana, today we're talking about animals, um, how they're pretty tuned in, they're psychic, how they tune into us. And I'm also going to do some animal readings on passed over fur babies as well. Hang on. Sharon, did you name your dog after Kane the Wrestler as well? That's fucking freaky. Right, Monique says she was very cheeky and ran. Monique, I honestly do feel she's still among the living. Right, and you moved her to a friend's house while we were renovating. That makes sense because I heard move. There was a move and it actually upset her. I really do feel she's alive um, and she's being looked after. I'm gonna say that too, right? I live in the middle of friggin' nowhere, right? And I have had four, minimum four cats that just turn up. And one of them, I've got a bit of a story here, Miss Kitty Puss Puss. Uh, when um, we were first building here, we'd obviously, you know, come out and see how the building and everything was going. But then when we were, you know, moved in, there was this grey and white cat that kept hanging around. Of course, I had to put food out for her, didn't I? Anyway, I opened the door one day and she just waltzed. as if, oh yeah, this is all right. Got on the couch and 10 years later, it, she was still here, right? Anyway, there was a knock on the door. It was from the lady across the road. And she goes, you've got my Rosie. And I said, pardon? She goes, you've stole my cat. And I went sorry you know and she goes the grey and white one I went oh my god I'm sorry I was just putting food out for her and opened the door and she, she started laughing she goes don't worry about it that's where she's meant to be this is where she's meant to be I said how old is she at the time she was 15 right I had her for 10 years I come home from shopping and she'd gone to sleep on the bedroom floor so there you go and she's buried out the front of my reading room so 25 so there you go. I'm going to say that they'll always end up where they're meant to be. So getting back to 
Monique. I hate to say this, but I feel your little baby um, was meant to be with someone else. She's obviously changed someone else's life and bought them love, if, if that makes sense. So try and look at it that way. But again, I do feel she's still alive and she's very happy. So there you go. Yep, Monique. Yep, she's very happy. I, I can feel that. Don't be surprised if she's with an elderly um, person. Yeah. She's bringing someone a lot of love, so there you go.